hours earlier, and I want to do a story about them. I want to tell you all about how they learned to dance together, but it spans 60 years, and I'm still doing the research. But I will be here with a story this summer sometime, so do come back. But tonight I'm going to talk about Little Menard. He was the founding father of Galveston. In the year 1805, more than 200 years ago, in the town of La Prairie, north of Montreal, Canada, a young boy started life. Educated at a French school, he carried with him French manners and an accent for the rest of his life. He worked for the Hudson Bay Company and later as an Indian trader. He drifted westward with the Shawnee and in 1829 crossed into Texas at Nacogdoches. In 1833, this 28-year-old Canadian was taken with Galveston. Surrounded by water with a natural harbor, it reminded him of home. And at this time, the property he wanted on the island, and this is a surprise, could only go to Mexican-born citizens. A year later, overcoming many legal complications, he purchased one league and a labor of land. And for those of you who don't know, and I didn't know it, that's 4,605 acres, or seven square miles. Almost sound like he owned a whole island. One of the first houses he built was for this man's family. It was a mail order house, supplies ordered from Maine. Because as you know, this barrier island, devoid of any trees, could not produce any lumber. And he built a total of seven houses. Joining forces with nine other Galvestonians, they formed the Galveston City Company for the purpose of selling this land. And the first lots were offered on April 20th, 1838, and thus the city of Galveston was born. The company laid out streets, so kept 700 lots at an average price of, guess, $400. By the end of that year, there were 60 families and over 100 buildings. Believe it or not, some of these homes had been ordered from Sears Roebuck, a room at a time. And the population had now re reached 3,000. And in 1839, Galveston was finally incorporated as a legal city. And this is how Michael B. Menard became known as the founding father of Galveston. Menard worked very hard for Texas independence, and he, and he was one of the signers of the Texas Declaration of Independence in 1836. He also represented Galveston in the House of the Fifth Congress of Texas. When a group of businessmen bought most of the wharves in 1854, Menard presided over the management of the wharves until his death at the age of 51. The Menard House at 1603 33rd Street has survived many storms, including the great one in 1900 when the home was occupied by the Galveston police chief and his family. The chief weathered the storm at headquarters downtown as the family huddled on the second floor, only to awaken to strange noises downstairs where they discovered a cow and several chickens had taken refuge in the living room. Today, the Menard House is the oldest home still standing on the island. Lovingly restored, you're offered guided tours, and the house is open for special events. Please, don't miss history just because you live right next door. <coughs> Take a step back into the past and visit the home that was built and lived in by the founding father of this beautiful, romantic, historic island.